Information now about the execution of Clayton Lockett. The just released autopsy report reveals the execution drugs worked, though they took time, and the convicted killer endured multiple attempts to insert IVs to put him to death. The Oklahoma Department of Public Safety released the 12 page autopsy report from the medical examiner in Dallas, Texas. It reveals executing Clayton Lockett with a new three drug combination took 43 minutes. A phlebotomist tried inserting needles into Lockett's forearms, neck, foot, groin, and buttock. Minutes after the execution began, Lockett's attorney, there is a witness, says his client kept trying to raise up and at one point even said something's wrong. They wanted to hurry up and get it done with as little transparency as possible. This is what they get. DOC Director Robert Patton stopped the execution when the inmate began convulsing and regained consciousness. He told reporters then it appeared Lockett's veins failed and he died of a massive heart attack. However, even the independent pathologist hired by Lockett's attorneys disagreed. And now the Texas ME rules the lethal injection drugs found in his blood and tissue are what caused Lockett's death. DPS officials say they interviewed more than 100 people, collected evidence, and reviewed reports on Lockett's final hours and the execution. They'll release the summary report on the execution next week. Now, right now, you can see the autopsy report and the log of his final days on KGRH.com.